Welcome to Artex video lessons. In this lesson you will learn how to scan a human body with Artec EVA. As long as you know how to set up an optimal environment for scanning and follow our recommendations, you will be able to get a great model after only several minutes of scanning and processing. Avoid dim lighting and unevenly lit environments as this may affect the texture of the model. A turntable will make scanning much easier since you won't have to walk around the person. But don't worry if you don't have a turntable. You can just connect EVA to a tablet and battery. That way you can easily walk around the model without getting caught up in any wires. You can also use a laptop instead of a tablet. Hold the laptop in one hand or use a laptop harness. Make sure that there is sufficient space to walk around the person when scanning without a turntable. Although it is possible to scan virtually anything, clothing and accessories can affect the quality of the scan. If the person is wearing dark or black clothes, consider increasing the texture brightness to make scanning easier. The opposite is true if the person is wearing white. If the person is wearing materials that are difficult to scan, increase the sensitivity. Make sure that the frame rate is set to maximum. This will make scanning easier and smoother glasses can affect the texture of the model. We recommend people take them off before being scanned. Keep in mind that scanning takes several minutes and that the person who is being scanned should not move during this time. Make sure that the pose they choose is comfortable to hold for at least a couple of minutes. Deep breathing changes the geometry of the chest and can cause difficulties for processing. We recommend not to breathe deeply during scanning. Make sure the pose does not contain areas that are impossible for the scanner to see. Either have the arms held tight to the torso or have them far enough apart from the body that the scanner sees the area clearly. It is better to keep fingers together because keeping them motionless while spread apart is very hard and movement may affect the results. We recommend to always start scanning from the head. In many cases, the head can even be scanned separately from the body. Keeping facial muscles motionless for a long time is very difficult, so we recommend scanning the face with one swift motion. The optimal trajectory for scanning the face quickly and effectively is as follows. Start scanning from the ear to the nose. Lower the scanner to capture the chin from below. Then raise it to scan the area above the forehead. Return the scanner to the nose level and finish scanning the face by moving it over to the second ear. Then you can scan the hair. Remember to scan from all angles and always keep the shoulders or back in the scanner's field of view. We'll talk more about scanning hair in a minute. Continue to move the scanner around the head, scanning from all angles. Don't forget to scan behind the ears. If the scanner has problems seeing the hair properly, hold it above the difficult spot for longer so as to accumulate more information. Finish scanning the hair at the same angle at which you started scanning the face. Try not to get the face in the scanner's field of view during this last section since the facial geometry will probably have changed. Let's talk more about scanning hair since sometimes you might need to take special action here. Our tech is proud that its scanners are able to recreate most hairstyles, while most scanners can't. Nevertheless, some hair types are more difficult to scan, such as curly or fluffy hair. To make it easier to scan this kind of hair, try smoothing it down a little or dampening it. Since individual hairs are so fine, the scanner does not see them when set on normal mode. Increasing the sensitivity in the scanning settings will help scanner to see the shape of the hair and recreate the missing bits. It's essential to remember that to avoid losing registration during hair scanning, you should always keep an object that is easy for the scanner to see in its field of view, such as a shoulder or the person's back. Initially, your scan might look like it contains holes and that there's not enough data to recreate the surface of the hair even though your scanning was thorough and your trajectory good. In most cases, everything is fine and you will have collected enough data. The final scan will always look much better than the raw data. Scanning the body is easy, as long as you meet a few simple conditions. Scanning the body is much like scanning the head. 
First you scan the front of the torso front, then the side, then the back, and then the other side. After this, you can go on to scanning the legs. Always remember, to get a good scan, you must change the angles of the scanner so it sees the person from every perspective. Legs are generally the most still part of the body, so you can scan them separately. However, scanning the whole body in one scan is also an option. Don't forget to scan the inner side of each leg. When scanning the feet, remember that if the floor contains rich texture, you can use it to restore registration, should you lose it. So be sure to scan the floor around the feet. Remember that the feet should also be scanned from all angles. After you finish scanning, ask the person you scanned to hold his or her pose for a minute more in case you missed an area during scanning. Open the scan you made and ensure that it does not have any holes. If there are any holes, rescan the area in question. If you'll follow these advices, after a bit of practice, scanning people will become a piece of cake.